So this is going to be a brief video about adding a quiz to a Camtasia Studio project. So here I have my timeline and I want to put my quiz, I want to put it at the end of this video and set of slides that I have. So what I'm going to do is click on, click on the icon that says quiz. If you need to, it might be under the more, little more button here, or you can always go to tools and quizzing. Then you just click add quiz. It adds the quiz and it places it like a marker in your timeline. So if you want to move the location of the quiz, you can move it around. I want it to be at the end, so I'm going to put it there. Then on the quiz, you can add your question here. It's, it prompts you for your question text. So let's just say, is adding a quiz easy is my question. I'm just going to be multiple choice, but the drop down menu here has a couple of different options, fill in the blank, short answer, and true or false. So let's just do true or false, and there it automatically fills it in. If I had left it as multiple choice, you would just type in the answers here and make sure the correct one is checked. Okay, but let's just do true or false, then that's it. Now, when you produce your video, you need to produce it, for example, with the smart player. So I'm going to produce it as 1080p here, which is the highest resolution uh, for me. And then when I click next, um, it offers some options about quiz reporting. So whether or not you want to keep track of the answers. So I'm going to leave both these unchecked because I don't want to do it. So that's maybe a little bit more advanced than this video would want to, um, would want to get you to go through. Um, and then I'm just going to click next. And then it'll produce the video for you. It's asking me whether or not it's going to uh, update some files. And then it starts producing it. So I'm going to pause the video and I'll start back when it's done producing. So then what you want to do next is open up your outputted document. And you see that in this case I've compiled it twice um, for two different files because I messed up the first time I did it. but what you want to click on is the HTML file. Um, and what this will do, you'll see it when I click on it, is it'll bring up my player. And when I, when I get to the end, it'll say a little button that says take quiz now or replay the last sec section. And it says quiz five. Is, is the t adding a quiz easy or false? You do the true or false. It's true. OK. Now, what I haven't shown, this is now being hosted on my computer and only I can see it. If I want it to be on the internet and to be able to collect data, well then we're going to have to put this collection of HTML and other files, the Shockwave Flash file and the others, on a hosting service that will actually host the web page for us. So I'll put that, how to do that, in a later video.